Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget, like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. One, two, three, how are you? I am with you. Okay. There we go guys, um, I'm going to show you now how to bait up our 3.2 meter, 3.3 meter um, black fin trace. What I'm going to use is a yellow tail, you can use a bonnie, you can use a shed, you can use flipping any bait you want, mackerel, it's up to you. I'm just going to use a, a yellow tail for demonstration purposes, because it's a big bait that I'm looking for. Little chocker hammer, sharp knife thick Kingfisher latex cotton. It needs to be a thick one guys. This bunny, uh, well this yellow tail is still frozen quite hard so it's going to be quite difficult. Dangle puller. Okay. Step one. Measure the length that you want it to be. And there's lots of ways to bait it up. I'm just going to do the quickest way. Uh, so to do it, we just put the hook next to the mouth over there as you can see and the eye of the dangle so that is the furthest part that I actually want to cut so all all we do just cut it over here okay okay guys there we go I eventually managed to get through the yellow tail that's frozen like a rock now what we're going to do is form it so we can get our bait more aerodynamic A nice round back section because this bait is very frozen I'd like to take off as much of the skin of the bonnie of the shad um, of any of the baits that you'd like to use for it when a bait is defrosted I tend to leave a lot more of the skin in that on because the pickers can't get to it um, if you want to expose as much flavor as you can take off the skin this is a frozen bait. I'm going to take off as much of the skin as I can. So, if I had a pair of scissors, I'd cut out the gills. I'm just going to use a knife to do it. Be careful when using a knife to take the gills off. There we go. So, basically, just peeled off the, the gills there. I'm now going to take my dangle puller, starting at the back, and you can see where the spine is. That little part there is the spine. I'm just going to go slightly below it where the blood is. Now I've got it where I want it to be. I'm going to put that through there. So basically I've pulled it through. I just leave the dangle puller there. I twist it around, put the hook in under the jaw. And pull him out and pull tight. Okay. So that's pretty much what I did. Take your knife, the bottom jaw, comes out, over there. Okay, bottom jaw is out. <clears throat> so that's what it's looking like at the moment. You can see my dangle is sitting nice and proud. Let me just find it there. There we go, my dangle is sitting nice and proud. Now, you can either cut thin little cutlets. Thin little cutlets like that. Hit them with a chocker hammer and you can add it to the actual uh, bonito if you want you can take it and cut it down to form a triangular piece and then basically shape it and put it on which is quick and easy um, or you can go down and come up it gives it more of a round shape this bait needs a little bit more of a rounder shape to it so and it's going to be difficult because this yellow tail is very frozen so we're just going to try it as best as I can without cutting myself.
Okay. So I've got two half moons basically over here. With a yellowtail it's quite easy. You can actually just take it and peel the when the yellowtail is frozen. It's a little bit harder when you've got a bonnie to do. You've actually got to skin the bonnie. The yellowtail is quite easy like I said when it's frozen. Okay, so there we go. Just taking the skin off. This is going to allow more smell, more oil to be exposed. <clears throat> With a bonnie, what I do is I just slightly cut it just to open, take off all the skin and that. And remember, this bait, like I said, is for when there's not a lot of peckers around. If the peckers were there, I'd leave the skin on. Okay, so. There we are, skinless yellowtail, skinless yellowtail, take my chocker hammer, <clears throat> and again, this bonny is frozen, so it's going to be a lot of banging involved here, so we're going to go through it very quickly. Okay, here we go guys, now comes the thick latex cotton, the kingfisher thick latex cotton. I'm going to take my first yellowtail that I've skinned on both sides. Well, one side and the other one, obviously. Lay it there where the gills are, over the top, to make basically a rugby ball, soccer ball size bait. And don't be scared to use cotton when your bait is frozen. What happens with the, the thick latex cotton, as your bait defrosts, the cotton contracts and it pushes more blood, more smell, more flavor. You're fishing for a big fish, it might take an hour for a bite. You need to keep your bait out there as long as possible. This is the way you do it. And just to finish it off, you just do a couple of half inches around the top here. Okay, so there's pretty much the completed yellowtail Head, or bonny, doesn't make a difference. Solder, solder, shared, whatever you want to use. That's pretty much the size of the bait that you're looking to throw. For your black fin, for your bronzy, doesn't really make a difference. Now I'm gonna show you how it goes together. We take our sinker with our sinker clip. And again, you can use a grapnel sinker if you want, if there's a bit of a wash. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> This is a three meter trace. Stick that little clip on it there. <clears throat> and there's the entire trace. Nothing difficult about throwing a three meter trace. Because that's what you're throwing. This obviously hits the water, it comes off, that hits the water. And now you've got three meters, 3.2 meters of wire there. Nice for the black fin, nice for the big bronzies, nice for when you're fishing over rocky ledges and you're fishing for big sharks. Um, raggies too, grey nurse sharks. All the tackle that I've shown you is available at Kingfisher and most leading tackle stores nationwide. 